Hey heroes, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. Welcome to my Wildermyth series. We're on season six, episode two, and this is the Enduring War Morthagi focused uh, five chapter campaign. In the uh, last episode, our town Taldon was attacked by the Morthagi, kind of uh, kind of like bone like um, robots, and. Uh, we are searching for them. We're clearing all hostile sites. We picked up uh, Buzzkill, uh, who was a, who you might have seen in my previous seasons. And uh, we're just making our way to uh, Gorge on Smelter, but uh, we have to um, clear all the other uh, sites as well. So let's, let's just go. We're gonna go to Plow Meadows. Okay, so there are new calamities. Uh, let's see. Mm. Deepest is now stronger. Uh, let's just go with... I don't like these guys, so I'm just going to go with the deepest then. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I did that wrong. I meant to remove... I should have removed the weldling. Oh well, can't undo that. <clears throat> okay, let's fight. Hoot hoot. Cree. You scared? I'm wondering how I'd be remembered, you know, if I died today. How about you? Uh, let's see. Well, it's a wondering that we'll find and then whether we'll survive it. Ah, Joe was like, I'm good. <laughs> That's it? Yep. Jomu and Umer gain temporary damage and potency. Plus one bonus damage and plus one potency spell damage. Okay. So let's see. Um, hmm. So let's move here. Let's move Buzzkill up. We're going to Cone of Fire as per usual. Doing great damage. She, she, she critted. All right. A lot of guys took damage right there. I want to start a fire. How do you start fires? Can be lit. But if I light the lamp, then I think that uses up one of my two actions. So I guess he can't move after. Okay, so now... So now we should be able to shoot. Come on, let's see if it works. 86, you... All right, great shot. Okay, Numer, let's move forward with his nice new uh, cloak. And we're gonna interfuse with the blaze. And we'll fire leash right onto the spectre. There we go. I think that was it. Oh, there's still more enemies. Okay. So we'll move all the, we'll move glory all the way up to the front. Okay. Uh, Joe Moo, I guess let's, uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have put him into stealth. Oh well. Okay, we'll just put everyone next to each other. And uh, let's see, Buzzkill, we'll wait. And we'll just wait on Glory. Let's see, Buzzkill, let's open the door for free. There's a sommelier. Let's see. New mare. Let's uh, move you here. Oh, there's another guy. Did not see that. Okay, let's, inter let's see what we can interfuse with. We can interfuse with the rubble. To create a bone lance or maybe we can do i think i might do the splinter blast on uh this welding which will shred his armor splinter blast this guy there we go armor shredded so we can do direct damage to him now i'm gonna move buzzkill closer we're gonna cone of fire not very much damage uh jomu oh can do that. Let's see. If I silk step, uh, what happens? His next attack ignores armor, but that doesn't matter. So let's go here, and we are going to see if we can attack this guy. Nice job, Jomu. Okay, and Glory. Uh, let's. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just charge. I'm gonna charge him. And we'll see. We'll see what the sommelier does. Oh damn! It, it bypasses bypasses damage. Okay. 
So let's see, I'm going to move Jomu here into the fire. So we got Ember Arrows, 62% chance to hit, not great, uh, but still works. And it lights the fire underneath the guy, which is pretty fantastic. And uh, we will have, will this not hurt her? Oh, she can run straight through fire now. That's, that's new. Fire everywhere. Victory. Okay, we found poison. We can apply to your weapon as an action and uh, applies to poison. I don't think we need this. I don't think anyone's really going to use it, so I'm going to just salvage it. We really hit our stride. We're a well-oiled machine. Oh, what? Too soon? <laughs> Uh-oh. Now there's a batch beat. Oh, our enemies are becoming strong. Okay. We are going to... I'm going to have half the team uh, build a pass through the mountain range. The other half will secure the dam. Let's get started. Uh, only... Uh, let's see. Those two done and then the other two will secure uh, mill dam okay let's go there's going to be a incursion soon so we have to get through this within 300 days which i think is possible mill dam has been cleaned and put in good order with time left for a few days of comfort we got some heartwoods and fabrics and let's uh have them all uh help out there we go that should make it faster Taking a while. Wish we can make time go by a little bit faster. That's okay. We're almost there. Okay. We made a passageway into Ranland. Let's go there right away. Okay. Catilla Veins. Old formed caverns stretch beneath Catilla Veins. Jomu? Don't fall in a random crack, or do I say? Only their back barking echoes answer them. Wait, where's Jomu? This this isn't him not saying anything. This is him not being there, right? Neither is particularly rare for him, but yeah, he's gone. It's their territory, the deepest. I'd expect they know it better than us. They scour their steps for the last sign of Jomu. Oh, Here's where he went, I'd bet anything. An almost triangular crevice, and beyond is a tight, twisting tunnel. Below them, in the coldening ground, in the fungal glow. So, I can't help it. It's against my nature, is what I'll say. Not to follow my intuition. Anyway, I'll find things when I'm on my own. Under blade-sharp stones and wider space, a firmer shine... There's a powerful smell, a heart smell, the heart of the mountain. And at first glance, he thinks a massive gray man is hunched over a blue-white flame. But he realizes, what is that? Smooth contours, perfect edges, carved? Not by tools any hands have held. You've just been here since as far into forever as anyone remembers. Foolish, maybe, me wanting after that gemstone. Okay, so if you've watched my previous seasons, we all know that almost every character takes the gem. We're not taking the gem today. Well, let's not upset the gods of unknown temper. Jomu pays its small honor and goes. It really is a small gesture. I don't know why I have this compulsion to say something. I won't. He dabs a cloth in pine oil and polishes the gemstone to fragment brightness, and then he leaves. It's odd. For a moment, he feels awful close to whoever once walked this place, worshipped that weird idol kneeled where its stone frown fell. Jomu! Jomu! That you, Glory? Why are you the one who came after me? I don't know. They hate me, or they hate you. Maybe it's both. 
Reunited, they move on and soon emerge to fight another desperate fight. But ever after, tucked underground, a stone-sharing god will dream of him and Jomu will be protected. Plus 5 bonus or 0.5 bonus damage. Ah, not bad. So we're fighting some deep pists now. Okay, so... So there's some deepest right there. Joe moves right next to a fire, which is great. We can initiate combat right away or maybe move a little closer. Let's move a little closer. It doesn't reveal anyone, so let's shoot. And he's sitting on fire now. Glory should be able to reach because her spear gives her extra reach. All right. There's one out right away. We will now uh, wall up. Guard. We will... Uh, Card. Let's see what happens. Where's our enemies? Nowhere to be seen. Okay, I can't see anyone. Um, let's go, let's move Buzzkill here. We'll raid on this spot right here, creating a fire, and we'll guard. And uh, I guess we will silt step there. Numer will move forward. I'm kind of concerning that. We haven't seen any enemies at all. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, here we go. There's a Woken Slinger. Here's a Woken. Okay, there we go. He can't shoot that, so let's uh, get a little closer. Well, we can raid again. There we go. And we'll Cone of Fire. Two damage, not very much damage. Let's move Jomu closer to the fire. Can I shoot this guy? I shoot it for 88. Let's shoot it for 88. Yeah, that's good. And then when that guy starts his turn, he should take two damage automatically unless he somehow dodges it. So we'll move Glory up. Well done. We'll move Numer right next to her. And uh, we'll just wait. Let's see if that fire does its thing. Yep, automatic kills that guy. And now here's another Woken Slinger. One of her armor shredded. Uh, let's see if we can shoot this guy. Unlikely, 54%. Oh, but still starts the fire. Uh, let's see. Numer, why don't you do... Oh, so Numer, remember, has special interfusion. So let's see. Um, let's see. Bone Lance. Anything special? I think the bush. Okay, so we can do Vine Wrench which does a little bit more damage. Let's do that. Nice, that's a cool ability. So it does damage and pulls them to a place of your choosing. Glory should level up. Glory is now a Bloodhorn Warrior. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have the option, Zealous Leap. Every other turn as a swift action, Glory makes a daring leap up to three spaces away. That sounds crappy. Paladin. Uh, Glory ends her turn by moving. She automatically enters Guardian. That's really good. Once every other turn as a swift action, Glory shreds two of a foe's armor with her weapon. That's pretty good too. Or we can upgrade Broad Swipes. Uh, broad Swipes damage scales twice as much with bonus damage and potency. Current damage changes so it does it does not change right now so let's just switch to paladin okay we found a spell shard it's an artifact offhand item and um we can actually do that because numer has a wand we could get him a staff which would have more potency but this works as well i think that's two yeah let's do it so as you can see here you go wands should be cheaper to 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 uh craft so there we go, there we go. We will, as you can see there, there is that uh, thing that we encountered and we will secure the location. You know what, let's back away. Let's uh, secure it. Oh, I wanted to select, uh, take more time, but that's okay. The site's secured. Catilla Vines has been cleaned and put in good order with time left for a few days of comfort. We got some hides and fabric. And we found an earth shell talisman, which increases our block, which I'd like to give to, I'm going to give it to Glory. We've been giving her a lot of stuff, 
but uh, she's technically weaker in a sense than Buzzkill. So as you can see, she has her pauldrons, she has her new armor, the spear, and this new talisman. Okay, now we're going to head to the last location. Okay, this is Air Whistling Timbers. This is the final fight of the chapter, which we're fine with. Hmm. They seem to have the place surrounded, and they're not exactly sub being subtle about it. I can hear their noise from here. What do you think they're so agitated about? It's a forge. They're prob they probably love that stuff. It's like when you put me in front of a ham. Total mayhem. Or mayham. Ha! <laughs> So when it comes to the actual approach, uh, what are we going to do? Stick together and push in, or they surround the force so we surround them? Nah, stick together and push in. We need all the defenses we can manage. Think of, think of it this way. Stories about easy battles are boring. Okay, ooh, we got a lot of enemies, including that new Batch Bee. Let's see, where are they? Okay, so there's the Sommelier, and the, I imagine there are going to be guys over there. Let's get Buzzkill going. Buzzkill cannot reach. Hmm. See, Cone of Fire will not reach, unfortunately. We can do Raider. Okay, and this guard, I guess. We'll put Jomu right here. Get the Ember Arrows going. 50% chance to hit. Misses, and it doesn't cause fire. Uh-oh. Not good. But we're in nature, so this is kind of good in a way. So I'm going to move Jomu over here. I'm going to interfuse with all these different things. Let's see. Tree Call. Instantly summons Numer or an ally to the space next to the interfuse tree. Oh, that's pretty good. I can put... I can put glory right next to it. Let's see. Let's give it a try. Tree call. Uh, you. Oh, cool. Okay. And let's put glory behind. Yeah, that was great. I've never used that ability before, so that was, that, that was a really cool. Uh, let's see. Okay. Buzzkill, move up. They're probably all in that house. So we are going to uh, light this lamp right here. So now the fire is lit. And I'm going to move Jomu over here. But we're also going to go into stealth. And now Numer. We'll move Numer a little bit closer. He's stealth as well. He's in Grey Plane. Upon interfusing with a tree. Oh, I enter Grey Plane. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. Basic interfusions, plant, naturalist interfusion. Let's uh, interfuse with... Um, you know what? We won't interfuse with anything yet. Glory. We'll move Glory. Oh, damn. There it is. Uh, you know what? Let's actually move back a little bit. Okay, here comes the Watchman, which should be able to shoot. Oh, yeah. Glory defends. Jomu will, since he's in Grey Plane, he should be able to avoid, uh, what's it called? He should be able to avoid or ignore armor. He also has Ember Arrows, which should shred armor as well. Beautiful. And then why don't we just have Glory finish him off. There we go. Beautiful. Easy peasy. Okay, now we'll move slowly forward. I like how it doesn't damage her. We'll guard. We'll move Numera forward. He's in Grey Plane forever. Oh, here comes the Spectic. Oh, they're coming from behind. Okay, so... Numera, can you interfuse with something? Let's see. A stump. How about the Mossy Rocks? They're all basic interfusions. Uh, what should we do? Let's interfuse with this. We're going to do Discus on this guy. Yeah, 68%. Yeah, good damage. Okay, Glory. She'll flank. 
which means guaranteed attack chance. Okay, glory. Or oh, sorry, buzzkill. Move forward, shield cone of fire through here. Okay, and now we will move Jomu up. We are going to shoot. 31% chance. Good thing there's no ammo in this game. Oh, buzzkill's in fire though. Huh. Not oh, cool. Uh, glory. Let's, uh... You know what? Is she immune to fire? I can't tell if she's immune to fire, but, uh... Let's move here. Oh, you dodged. That's rare. Okay. Well, that guy's gone. Okay. Who's next? Jomu. We can shoot this guy and shred his armor. Okay. And Numera probably wants to get away from this guy. We'll go a little bit away. We will interfuse with this log. How about this one? Uh, how about the stump? No good options. Let's see. Wild Grasp. We'll have five range. And it pins him. Let's, let's, let's do the plant. Wild Grasp this guy. But we'll pull him closer. But it should pin. Or not. Do nothing. Here he comes. Uh oh. So he's engaged, meaning that he can't move. Okay, that's okay. Let's move uh, Jomu over here. We're gonna shoot from behind. Armor shredded. And now, as you see, they're, they're rivals. Glory and Jomu are rivals. So she should have a higher chance to crit. Yeah, nine damage. That wasn't it. There's still more enemies. Okay. Let's uh, guard. Uh, let's uh, move Numer out of the what's to be is a growing fire. Let's see, where's this last enemy? I imagine it's the enemies hiding in here. Let's see. Let's open the door. Oh, unexpected guests. <clears throat> I told you to run. Ah. Hey, I can fight, but one great sword isn't going to take these down. Get in here and help me. Okay, so Jomu, let's see. Can you shoot anything this way? No, you can't. Uh, let's see. Let's silk step into here. Ula. Let's see. What? options does Ula have? Not many. She can guard. Oh, there's a spectic. Okay. We'll just, uh... Just guard. Numer. Actually, no. Where's uh, Buzzkill? Buzzkill, let's go over here. Let's do Cone of Fire this way. Alright, good job. And then Numer, let's move up. We will, uh, what's it called? Inter... Oh, we have to withdraw. We have to withdraw from this, I guess. And then we will interfuse with the blades. Okay. She couldn't really do anything. And we'll just uh, put Glory in front to block. Blocked. Good job. That guy's going to shoot fire, yep. Okay, let's get this guy away from everything. Right? Okay. Let's see, who's next? Jomu. Uh, let's see, we've got fire options all over the place. Ember arrow, this guy. Of course you missed. We need to get accuracy for Jomu because he kind of sucks. Let's interfuse with this. And we will fire leash 68%. Okay. There we go. And who's next? Uh, Glory. Glory can reach. There we go. And Buzzkill. Let's move Buzzkill forward. Cone of Fire. He's 
the whole building's all on fire now. Buzzkill dodged. Buzzkill, can you, um... Flame strike him? Yeah. Victory. Ah, we gotta level up. Okay, we found a Fern Shadow Scarf, increasing dodge. Uh, let's increase the dodge of Buzzkill some more. There we go. Here's the scarf right there. Jomu is a Bloodhorn Hunter. So we can upgrade the Ember Arrows. Uh, as a swift action, once per turn, Jomu can move to a tile adjacent to a fire within four tiles. Oh, that's pretty good. Or we can ambush. Jomu draws back using a ranged attack. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to do ambush. Fire ambusher. Sorry, I couldn't have been more help. I don't fight quite like I used to. Well, the job got done. Could have gotten worse though, you know. It barged in here and tried to hide behind the furnace. Why would they go after their own kind like that? They wouldn't. There's something different about this one. I want to keep it around and see if I can compare it to other Morthagi. Maybe I'll put it where the door knocker shelf used to be. Do you think you can help me drag? Sure. Hey, listen, we appreciate all you've done so far, but I have to ask, are those deepest tattoos? Oh, it's, it's embarrassing, actually. I went through one of their initiation rituals years ago. They made some intriguing claims about life extension, and I was into that sort of thing. But the promises didn't pan out, and they ended up being pretty unpleasant characters. Cults come and go, but tattoos are forever. Teach your kids that one. Okay, so we got 10 years of peace. Our victory has removed the Batchby card, which is great. During the years of peace, much of that time that passes, Numer and the waterling Daria spent together. Their great love washes strife and sorrow away in its gentle force. Glory begins having dreams of a branched off life where she cut down ghosts and cliffs and cliff giants as a means to, to some unrevealed but urgent end. Each night the dream could tell a bit more and Glory was disappointed when they finally stopped. While out for an evening stroll, Buzzkill accidentally locked eyes with a forest squirrel. It sensed a deep resolve in Buzzkill's gaze and would follow her for the rest of its days. Eat up, my friend. The road before us is a long one. Glory would always find excuses to visit Amarante Foundry. Her pan wouldn't sit flat. Her po fire poker wasn't pokey enough. Whatever the reason, it had absolutely nothing to do with the strikingly handsome apprentice. During the years of peace, do we transform Buzzkill's last foot? Yes. Uh, oh, it decreases her speed but increases her warding. Yeah, we'll take it. Okay, so it's time to upgrade our gear. I don't think we have that much to really uh, gear up, but uh, we'll be back and we'll see what, what we do for the gear. Okay, so we're back. We didn't have, as I expected, we didn't have very many resources to really do too many upgrades. Basically, we just upgraded Jomu's bow. We gave it a, uh, it's called uh, Cedar Pride. It's a stone elemental bow. And then uh, Numer got a slightly better uh, wand right here called Spine Drinker. Ardian, you're back. I was so worried. When you wrote about that horrible, immortal, mechanical nonsense, I was afraid you'd lost your mind. Nonsense? I'm completely serious. <gasps> Why are you making that face? There's a plague out there. I'm telling you, I found a way for us to bypass death. And you're making that face? You can't bypass death. What you're thinking about, that's something else. Something unnatural, abominable. The Morthagi have always been tools. We've used them to achieve countless other things. So why not this? 
Buzzkill had visited Ula a few times. They picked apart more thaggy elbows and told tales of old battles over jugs of wine. They dug into the body of a strange Morthagi as well, but Ula remained puzzled as to how it worked. So when Buzzkill received an urgent invitation to the forge, she set off immediately. Thank you. Listen. I have a very important, potentially dangerous information. I knew I had to share it with you. Of course. You might even say I'm honored to be the person that you'd come to. First. Hey, Buzzkill, about time you've been waiting for you. I'd start with pleasantries, but there's nothing pleasant about this. A wave of Morthagi has been moving across the countryside. A little further out, closer to False Captain, but causing just as much destruction. Based on the way they're spreading, it seems like they're originated in Perer's Hills. I've had some amazing cheeses from there. Well... If we weren't motivated by duty or glory before, now we can add cheese to the list. There's, There are almost certainly some of the old Mortificers workshops there, and I wouldn't be surprised if Mortificers are still around? No, but their workshops are, and some Morthagi can manufacture more of themselves without a person overseeing the process. Good to know. So, the Elks of the Sun's Returning sets out again. <sighs> the neighbor with the rooster had just moved out. It was finally quiet. I'm finishing up a better weapon, but I'll meet you at Cogglow Dam. I'd, sl I'd slept in for three mornings in a row, and it was fantastic. Any insights? No. Is standard in some ways, but then the core of it is bizarre. Something com complicated is going on here, but I can't figure out exactly what. Hmm. Excuse me. You have the body of my friend in there. You kept it in decent condition. I appreciate that. Apologies, this must be strange. Not at all. Uh, that is, yes, it is strange. But I have many questions for you. Okay, so now we have to clear all, all Morthagi sites, find the source of the Morthagi, which is likely right here. So we're going to have to cross the area, clear these areas, and there's an option to recruit. So um, I'm going to end the video right there. Thanks so much for joining me today. Check out the rest of my channel for other videos on Wildermyth, video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.